welcome back. I have a little bit of a dramatic video this week. This video does have a very unusual ending, so make sure you stay and watch until the end. But I have been on quite the journey with this artwork. I went from loving it, especially in the initial phases. I feel like it really started out really well. I was loving the composition and the warmth and it slowly just deteriorated as I worked and layered the burnt umber paint. What I learned the hard way is that if you thin oil paint too much and layer it on top of previous sections, it actually begins to take paint off the canvas as there is so much medium mixed into the paint. My goal was to really just build the layers slowly. And as I started realizing my mistake, I began to try and fix it by dabbing the paint into the darker areas instead of sweeping it over the surface. This actually worked for a while, but then it started to look quite blotchy. This all happened really slowly and I went from loving the artwork to being filled with dread and anxiety every time I started painting. I've been working on this for about a month and I have learned so much about the way I want to paint and the journey that I'm on to get there. During this time, my mentor Angus sent me this quote by an account called Inspired to Write and it's about pivoting and it was super relevant for where I'm at at the moment. I thought I might share it with you. And it goes like this. Words for the creator who is thinking about pivoting. Pivoting on your creative journey is essential. I know it would be easy to just keep doing the same thing you're already good at, the thing that already has success, but you aren't here to create the same things over and over again. You're here to make the art that calls you. You deserve to explore all the facets of your creative potential. You have so much to give. If you don't let yourself explore different creative avenues, you're going to become bitter at your current way of creating. It will be a prison of your own making. When you pivot, you're not starting from scratch. You're an experienced creative with a wealth of experience, but you're going to need to give yourself some room to play, get it wrong and be messy. When you pivot, you will lose some of your audience. You don't need them for this next part of the journey. When you pivot, you will find new people who connect with your new expression. You would never have connected with them if you hadn't dared to create something new. When you pivot, your audience might get confused. That's okay. Give them time, remind them you're a multi-passionate, expansive miracle of a creative and that you can change and evolve on this journey. A big fear around pivoting is the worry that we will be robbed of the thrills that we experienced as a result of our previous successes. Here's your reminder. Your brain is safe with lower seasons of dopamine. You are safe without external validation. You and your creativity are safe as you dare to do something new. from a while ago but he did a whole series on doves and I just love them and I got absolutely spoiled with flowers. I'm actually thinking I'm going to take the roses out and shoot some new references with the roses. These are from my boyfriend. He is the best and I will be popping this when I secure a solo show next year. To celebrate my shift into painting, I have reduced all of my charcoal drawing courses to $49 because my whole career up until this point was based around 
charcoal drawings. I really just wanted to create these courses and make them a lot more accessible for you guys. So if you're interested in learning how to either draw a tiger or how to use charcoal in general, I have two online courses, how to draw a tiger masterpiece and the ultimate charcoal techniques course, both for $49 each. So if you're interested in learning how to draw, they are a great place to start. painting the other week I was on the phone to my art mentor Angus and he had so many wise things to say and I didn't realize that the camera was still recording but I caught the whole conversation so I will insert some snippets of that conversation here because it was actually really interesting the things that he had to say yeah I'm just painting over all of the burnt umber in black and white yeah. and it feels good I'm really enjoying using thick paint because I was pretty much just drawing with paint before. Yeah, like you actually did really, you jumped the chasm. You were kind of like pretending the painting but really sort of drawing. It feels good and I feel like I'm really fleshing out, like getting through those really big first stages of like, you know, learning, which feels good. And I've just taken all the pressure off again. Like <laughs> you just, I, you fully got through to me on Tuesday. I was so, I was not feeling good and I didn't know how to get myself out of that place and you um, you just put my own words on me. <laughs> it was just like, I just couldn't help but just laugh. It was just so funny. I do it to myself and I'm just like telling everyone else to like fail and then I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Make sure that you like, you give yourself a lot of room to like, do things that don't look good. Like, you're like, I know what you're like. You're like crazy. Like, accelerate the learning curve. It's, it's sort of like it's almost vertical for you. Everyone else just plods along and they, you know, turn around and they, they, take the, they take ages to kind of learn everything. And you're just like full speed, like Formula One. <laughs> but I don't know why I think that like my first paintings are going to be like good. I just, I just don't know why I even expect that of myself. They could be, you know, like, they could be. But if they're not, like, like it's okay. Just be, like, be happy to write, write some things off. Because then you've got all the freedom to, like, you know it doesn't count. And no matter if it finished, and then that way you're kind of free to kind of just think about what you're doing and not think about making it good. Yeah, that's right. Which is, which is so important, you know. Yeah. And just, yeah, I'm excited to just try and loosen up a little bit as well. Yeah, like, let, so. let some of that control go. Yeah, I think that's the key to it, you know.
As sad as it is to say goodbye to this artwork, I know that I've learned so much. And although I really messed it up with this artwork, it makes me happy to know that I can share my process with you and that it wasn't a complete waste of time. And that I'm not only learning from my mistakes, but hopefully you guys can all take something from my mistakes as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and let me know what you think in the comments. But I hope you guys have an amazing week. I will talk to you soon.